Now, having seen what is the need for separation of mixtures, let's understand what are the various methods through which you can separate mixtures. Right? Let's see the first one, which is hand picking. The most easiest one. I gave you an example in the last uh, video. Let me just repeat it. When you go and buy rice or pulses from the market, of course, there are new high level stores which are coming in which will ensure that there are no stones in the cereals that you get. But many a times when you go and get these things from the market, there are certain stones also which are there in the rice. Right? So what happens is that there are grains which are there okay and there are stones which are there now in this case what happens is that the size of the stone is such that it is visible to a normal eye right so what happens is that even a person who wants to clean the rice can pick the stones by hand right now please note that this method is possible only in those cases when there are solids okay plus they are big they are visible I mean had it been that these stones were very minute you know sticking on to the rice then it would not have been possible or let's say if you have salt and within salt also you have small small pieces of churned out pieces of stones can you separate it answer is obviously no in order to do this hand picking process the solids have to be big right I mean otherwise what will happen is you'll keep on searching for the stones for a long time and you may actually not get it and even if you get it some of it might be left behind let's see the second method sieving now what do you mean by sieving have you ever seen a mesh It's often uh, in India it's also known as chalni. So what happens is that there's a mesh right something like this. Let me just make it. Okay. And there are small small pores in this mesh. Then this mesh is covered many a times by a circular plastic cover or maybe something else which is kind of having a particular height so what happens is let's say when you are using your flour if suppose flour has certain small small grains which have not been crushed properly okay or some stones or some other undesirable component what is done is that the flour is kept here okay because the flour has been grind properly after meshing up wheat what happens is that the smaller port part of the flour will get down okay which you can in any case collect in a bigger container right and all these stones and everything because they are a little bigger in size they will stay afloat on the mesh right this process of removing the stones and getting down the flowers or maybe you know it could be for other things as well is known as sieving okay the third one magnetic separation I guess we would have done all of us would have done this at some point in time or the other there are so many kids game wherein you use the magnet to attract iron so what happens in this case is that you know 
there are magnets there is a magnet and then there are let's say there is a mixture which contains of four or five substance including certain bits of iron this could be some kind of a waste or as well and you know you need to pick up these iron fillings because iron fillings are something which can be sold and it's worth it so to separate these iron fillings what a person does is he will take a magnet and take it closer to this entire set of things all these portions of iron which are there will go and get attracted towards the magnet and will start sticking like this then you can easily remove this and keep them in a different container right so this is again a manual process through which you can separate a mixture which contains iron because that can be done through magnet as the magnet would attract iron 